I was uh, I was surprised a little bit that uh, Invesco had actually created, you know, or some jobs were attributable to Invesco. Well, that it might be a stretch. They'll claim that those seven hundred some odd jobs are attributable to it, and you know maybe they are. But look at the cost per job. If you factor in the amount we spend, it's something like one hundred forty thousand dollars that taxpayers are spending per job. I mean that's an asinine amount. So even if it is creating or helping create some jobs. We'll give them give them that if they want to say that, but let's look at the per job cost, and that's pretty paltry. And, and I'm trying to remember that the investments are restricted to Tennessee companies, to Tennessee startups? That's or? my understanding yeah. that they have to be here in Tennessee. I don't know about the actual investment vehicles, the, the mm -hmm. companies that get, the, that get to make those decisions. Now, that was part of the problem with Tenevesco is the lack of transparency there. We don't know how those companies were chosen, what that methodology is, and so it's possible that some out-of-state companies could be chosen, I presume, because we don't know what the requirements are. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, do you think that they should abolish the Tenvesco? Absolutely, I mean, at $140,000 per job, then that is a massive disappointment for taxpayers and something that we said all along, from the very beginning, before the program was even enacted, that it was problematic from a number of standpoints. It's proven to be problematic. There's still a lack of transparency in it, and it's time to get rid of it because inevitably if we don't get rid of the program, they're just going to dump more and more money into it. We're, we've already lost $200 million. We're inevitably going to lose more unless we get it off the books.